Uh, yeah, Commando here, and yeah, welcome to this episode. Uh, you didn't really miss much, to be honest. Like, sorry about that noise. That was just me moving my microphone. Yeah, you you really didn't miss much. Um, I dug up some ores and got attacked by a few mobs, but nothing noteworthy. I did go back home to store my XP and to sort my items out. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna explore the Nether Fortress now. And is it just me or is it? really dark in here like let me try moving my no it's not my screen it is genuinely just dark in here oh. it's, um, sometimes ores will randomly detonate like TNT by the way uh, like that and the pig and it pisses the pigmen off it pisses them off to no end I don't think I've ever seen Glowstone spawn in a hallway like this, but... Alright, come on, come on. Oh, and there's just, it seems there's just about an ore for everything in the nether. Like, there's even ores for tin and copper from the Galacticraft, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. I like mods that can cross into each other. I, just, I think it adds a new layer to things, you know? Tell you what, this is a massive vein. Uh, that's just lava. I've tried breaking it before, and it's literally it's just lava. <coughs> Tell you what, what's the entity count at? Cause I'm not seeing anything. Come on, attack me! Okay, companion cube. Uh, wait, he won't. He blocks me from lava damage, but not fire damage. I'm sure. Well, to be honest, we're just going to be standing waiting for blaze rods for a while. And, oh, whoops. So I'm going to put a light here. Yeah, companion cube blocks you from all fire damage. Uh, awesome. I love it. Love it. I thought I saw an Enderman down there. Can you imagine if that, um, that what, that fan made Enderman followed me in here? Like, that would just be. That would be too horrible to put to work. Oh, we're getting good blaze rods though. We've got four, we only need them. Um, I think it's like a... Uh... Oh, we want to make an ender chest too though, so... We'll need... Ah, we'll get a few, we'll get a few while we're in here. Okay, we'll, we'll grab a few. Come on, come on. Come on, activate you fucker. Come on. <sighs> Alright, well, while I'm waiting for him, I'm gonna... Waste my water. I didn't mean to do that. I've had it. Oh my god, where did it Oh, hello! Anyway, um, I've added a new thing to the list. Horde. Insane amount. Okay. Store loads of XP. Uh, probably like over a hundred or something. Just fill the XP chest with an insane amount. And wow, come on, blazes! Oh, if only I had the lucky sword, I, I could get it so easy. By the way, those lucky blocks aren't all good. Like I know I always seem to think it's always going to be good, but I have been in creative mode, and I can tell you that those lucky blocks can fuck things up. They can they can do anything from insta killing you to spawning the wither. I'm not kidding. Lucky blocks are Yeah. Pretty sick. It's, it's a, it adds a good layer of fun to the game, you know? Uh, what's in the backpack? I'll put my checklist back in. Oh I should have brought a crafting table and I could have been a nuclear cannon here and now. 
So basically, once I have the nuclear cannon, I... Who knows? I might fill my power glove again. Oh, good. Blaze is here. I might get my power glove out again. The uh, particle glove. Sorry, that's the particle glove. And yeah, we'll fight the wither. Wait, what's that down there? I didn't put a torch there. Yes, I'm sure I didn't. No, wait, I did. I did. I'm, I'm going insane. It's alright, I did. Alright. Ooh, you know what we need to do? We need to head now that um, I've got to keep inventory on, I need to head back to that dungeon and uh, loot the rooms because there's still a lot of stuff they had in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Look at look at him. He, want, he wants to get out. You can tell he wants to get out, but he's just not doing it. Well, we've got six, but we need ender eyes. So we'll get a few more blazes and we'll get one for a potion stand. Did you hear that? That did not sound normal. Oh, it's one of the demon, demonic mobs. That's it. Oh, and there's a new boss, the Ghast Queen, and to summon her, we need to find the shrine, the, the Ghast Queen shrine, and activate it. Come on! There we go. I love that the companion cube gives you full-on resistance to fire. Alright, we got seven. Do we need any more than that? Um, we can probably get potion making stands from the... Oh, never mind. I'm assuming we can probably get potion making stands from the... the dungeon near our house, so... Yeah, I don't think it matters, to be honest. We'll just head back now. Um, which way's back? Which way? You know what I haven't done? I haven't set waypoints. I, need, I really need to do that more. But you know what, I'm gonna go set a waypoint at the blaze farm, so... Or the blaze spawner, so we know that's where to go for blaze rods. Because it's good info. Oh. Get the extra while we're here, I guess. Why not, eh? Why not? Alright, let's set a waypoint. I'll make it orange. There we go, blaze spawner. Ah, that looks fine. I thought I saw a wither there for a second. Oh, what's that? That cool lore? Let's have a look. Oh no, that's something new! Necronite gemstone. I'm pretty sure it can be made, used to make some pretty sick armor. There's a lot of pigmen here and they can turn violent at any time so far we've experienced, so I really don't want to stay here for very long. That's a nether cow by the way. I know, right? <laughs> oh, no. God damn, these guys give the wither status effect. I can't see anything, it's too dark. Let me get out. How'd I get... No, this is good enough. Trite. Oh, bit of a weird name, but whatever. Oh, uh, we can make furnaces that burn forever. I'm not kidding. Uh, you need netherrack, but the thing is you have a 10% chance of, um, self-destructing, but nothing bad happens. The furnace just turns into a piece of netherrack and that's about it. It spits your item back out though, so you don't lose it. But it's something pretty nice to have. Though with a 10% chance on probably every item, that means after like 10 items you're more than likely to... 
more than likely that it's going to break, so I don't know how the reliability is on that to be honest, but whatever. Ow. Alright, one step closer to fighting the wither. Alright, let's store the levels. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me this builds up like a real XP bar. Oh, I'm not be happy if it does. I thought I could, like, get around it, but oh. Like, I thought if I got like 30 levels, put them in there, then put an R10 in it, it instantly go to like 40. I didn't think it would. <sighs> oh, that's a bummer. Alright, let's make an Ender Eye. Because we're going to need one later on when we build the Ender Chest. Put the Blaze Powder in here. Okay. I need three obsidian and six of these. Oh yes. All right, you ready? Let's find a hostile mob and fire. Thing is, though, it does kind of fill up your screen, so I don't know if you guys like that. Just... Though uh, it doesn't really do much against him, so let's uh, let's get inside and just sleep. Oh my god, I can't sleep. Tell you what, then I'm just gonna blow him away. No. Boom. Crap, he moved. I can't see where he moved to. Where is he? Oh, I got him again. I got him again. Come on, this should finish him. Not yet. Don't ever switch weapons while you're charging up the nuclear rod. I just learned that. I just learned that. Okay, it does not go well at all. Alright, I'll store the scythe in here. Oh! I'll keep that, that will be very good for the wither fight, very good indeed. Uh, I forgot wood. I did not, oh, that did not come out wrong. So anyway, I'll just do that, there we go. Thought I heard something there. Oh shit, I just realised there's a hole in the window. Well, not a hole in the window, I've got a broken window, that's it. <gasps> what the f- <laughs> That is so not cool. That is so not cool. He can open that. that is so... much no. So much no to that. Alright. <sighs> Uh, I don't know if we might, I might be rushing it a bit prematurely, but maybe go fight the wither. I mean, you know, get this, really get the let's play started. I mean, we'll get the portal gun, and the portal gun will make things so much more awesome. Just having one will be without the limitations. Oh, I don't know. I don't know.
What should we do? Ah, uh, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's yolo. All right, get the diamond armor. Going to beat up the wither. Okay, tell you what, because this is the big fight, we are going to get the particle glove. And let me. Oh, I hate doing this. Uh, I need to get an axe. Quickly chop down a tree so I can get some wood. Alright. Oh, what was that? Nether. I uh, looked out. Okay. Just need sticks. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm getting that flickering screen again. It's a bit weird. I hope none of you have epilepsy. And if you do, don't blame me. Blame the mod. Bla blame the unworking mod. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do not blame the mods. I'm just. Don't blame anyone, it's a joke. I'm trying to protect myself from legalities here. There's joke, none of it was meant seriously. Okay. Anyway. Um nah, I think that's it, I'll just charge up the glove. Okay, look at my hunger bar. There we go, get some more magic. Oof, we're going to be able to craft a few big shots. Which will be uh, quite good for fighting the wither. Hmm, seems like it doesn't seem to affect your hunger unless you're already hungry. Oh no, look at it. Oh, it's affecting my hunger. <laughs> look how fast that's going down. Maybe we should do the modular power set. Nah, I don't need to. Oh, uh, something really quick though we can do before I leave. The vibranium core. Anyway, I'll just put that there. Or will I take it with me for luck? I'll take it with me for luck. You know, just, just, just for luck. Uh, I'll take a workbench with me as well. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll take some stone for a furnace. So, oh wait, I need to actually turn it into a workbench, don't I? <laughs> Herp, I derp. Herp, I derp. Okay, I've got everything I need. Uh, tell you what. Let's. How do I make a laser shot? Let's have a look. Item subsets by mod. And look at the uh, hero items mod, I think. It's not a spell card. I know it's not that. <gasps> oh! We should make a spell card, actually. We should totally make a spell card. That will seriously mess the wither up. Okay, spell cards. And they're gone. Alright, okay. Okay, we are going to make a mod, uh, a card to destroy the wither. Okay, so go back to the mod to. Okay, Everlast Master Spark. How do I make the master spark? Oh god, okay, let's not make that. Um, is there an easier card we could make? Just... Meteor shower? Uh, paper surrounded by stars. We could try it. Let's give it a shot. Okay, and now I just do that. 
guess a bit of paper and Boom! Okay, we've also got some projectiles as well. Alright, so we're going to bring the Vibramium... Oh, herp herp. <laughs> we're going to bring the Vibramium... We're going to put it in my bag. <laughs> okay, we're just going to put it in the bag. Bung it in there. Bung it in. Sorry for moving the microphone. Alright, I think we're ready. We are ready to go and take on the wither. And I'll tell you what, just for infinite power supply, we're going to take the redstone torch. Ooh, let's do this. In the next episode. Mwahahaha! <laughs> I'm evil. Uh, tell you what, we'll also... We'll also unlock a few extra fam guides just before I cut episodes. So, let's go here and... Let's buy a fam that can do some seriously good damage. Like... I could do Notch, but I'm pretty sure he deletes enemies from existence when he kills them. <laughs> and that's really not what we're wanting. <laughs> uh, fairy? Nah. No. Uh-uh. Well, mind you, Roundhouse Kick should, could have its uh, advantages. Uh, Chuck Norris or Iron Golem. I want to go with Iron Golem. Oh, there's so many people who are probably pissed off at me right now for making that choice. <laughs> so many people. Alright. Okay then. We're going to do it. We are going to go into the Wither Catacombs and wreck them in the next episode so yeah bye bye